Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's find the LCM and GCF of the numbers 4 and 6. I like to use a factor tree and a chart, so let's get started. Um, 2 times 2 is 4. Circle both 2's because they are prime, and then a factor tree of 6 is 2 times 3. Circle both of these because they're both prime numbers. Now I create a little chart, and uh, it makes life easy. I write down the prime factors for each number. Now with the 6, since it doesn't have a 2, I'm going to skip this 2 and place the 3 here because it makes nice, neat columns. And so now the rule for the LCM, basically you multiply all these numbers together, except you have one rule. If you have more than one number, then you only multiply it once. And so this chart sets up everything nice and neat for you. So there's two twos here, so I'll just bring down one two, bring down one two, bring down one three, multiply these together. Two times two is four, and four times three equals twelve. So the LCM of four and six equals twelve. Now I will rewrite the chart and I'll show you how to find the GCF. Okay, so now I have the same chart, and let's find the GCF. All you do, the rule is this. If you have a pair, then you uh, bring one number down. So we have a pair here. There's not a pair of numbers here, two, so I don't bring that down. Don't bring down the three, so there's only one pair of twos, and so that becomes the GCF, or the greatest common factor. So in summary, uh, two is the greatest common factor, and then we had 12 equals the LCM. I hope that was helpful. 